Hey guys, it's Artsy Simmer and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another speed build. Today I'm trying a challenge. It is a challenge that was posted by Zim instead. So I'll link to her channel and her video in the description if you guys would like to check out her video. But uh, basically it's just uh, you build a house or whatever using only pastel colors. So that's what I'll be doing today. I'd hoped that this would be going up in one part, but unfortunately it's going to be going up in two parts because if I hadn't it would have been an hour long video and nobody wants to watch that. So uh, yeah, I'm uploading two, two parts to this video. So this one will be the exterior and the landscaping and then the first um, little townhouse, which is green because I just decided to build um, three little townhouses. I don't know, I just, I just thought they were cute. And the green and the blue house which is the one on the end it's just the two on the end the middle one is bigger but the other two are pretty much um identical well i meant for them to be pretty much identical except they're kind of reversed but then whenever i got to the upstairs all of them have different upstairs floor plans like none of them are the same and then the lower level they all have a similar floor plan to the lower level just that the pink house is um a little bit bigger and then in the backyard, um, I wanted to do like a little fenced-in backyard. I don't know why, but um, I guess I was kind of inspired because I was watching um, TV the other day and I watched, uh, oh, I don't remember the name of it, some Disney movie about zombies and cheerleaders. Um, that might be the name of it. I don't know. It could just be called zombies. But I watched it and I guess this house is kind of inspired by like... Um, the not zombie part of town but uh yeah at least that's what it kind of reminded me of because i don't know they just kind of had like this like little perfect little town and it was all pastel colors and everything um with modern looking houses so i did want the houses to be modern looking as well and i don't know i just i just really like the way the house turned out if i could go back and change a few things i probably would um, I would definitely add a few more details to the exterior because, I don't know, the walls just look kind of flat to me, which I didn't really realize until I was going around taking screenshots and I had already uploaded the house, so that was unfortunate. I had to upload this house like three times because, uh, first I realized I forgot to, um, decorate the inside of the playhouse, which is in the backyard for the blue house, and then I realized that some of the wallpaper was missing on the pink house where I had went in and built some rooms in the pink house. But, uh, yeah, I fixed them, so you don't have to worry about those. And then, uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know, I just really liked the way the house turned out. Townhouses, in my opinion, they don't really make much sense to play in if you're, like, actually going to play the game. But, I mean, I guess they're good for, like, if you are into... Um, making stories or something in your game. They could work for that or, you know, a let's play or something, I guess. I'm sure you could come up with something for that, but I don't know. I guess for regular gameplay, unless you like play it along with a story or whatever, probably doesn't make much sense to live in a townhouse because uh, if it was like The Sims 3 or The Sims 2 where they could like have separate little apartments or something and you could only live in one and then everything in the other two disappear and you can't actually play in those and then other people would move into them, that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, unfortunately that doesn't happen. I did see a thing, what, what am I trying to say, a video in my timeline the other day on YouTube. Is it a timeline? I don't know. It was in my recommended or something. It was like a roommate's mod. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I didn't watch it, but uh, you know, I guess that could be an option for the other houses or something if it works. I don't know. I didn't watch it, but uh, yeah. And then I did put little um, mailboxes in front of them and I thought the mailboxes would disappear if I put so many but um, they didn't, so that made me very happy. Um, I think in The Sims 3, I tried to put multiple town, um, multiple mailboxes whenever I built some townhouses, but uh, they disappeared, so I ended up having to use the ones that came with Late Night or something so that they wouldn't disappear because um, they could only have one mailbox. But uh, yeah, I didn't have that problem on this one, so that made me happy. And then I kind of came up with like my own little family idea in my head for each of these houses. Like the green one is just a single sim who likes to garden and has a cat. And then the pink one is meant to be for like a single woman 
who has two cats. And then the last one is for like a family of four. I'm sorry, I heard, I heard footsteps. But um, yeah, the, fur, the last house, the blue house is meant to be for like a family of four. They have a toddler and a child. And then, you know, the parents. And then that's kind of what I decorated the backyards and stuff to resemble. And then the blue house kind of has like an art studio thing. Well, it's not really an art studio. They have art easels. <laughs> it's not exactly a studio. But uh, yeah, whenever I was doing the backyard, I was um, thinking about doing a art studio. But then whenever I was in the game, building the houses and everything, that, that didn't happen because I completely forgot about it. And so the inside of the house has nothing whatsoever to do with an artist's sim. Um, I just put some art easels in the front yard and on the balcony, and that's pretty much it. But my headphones keep falling off. I have a pretty small head, and they're just too big. But um, anyway, <laughs> terrain paint, because this is always fun to watch. I should probably cut out the terrain painting part, especially whenever it's a bigger build. If you guys would like me to cut that part out next time, then let me know. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember which one I built first in the backyard, I guess. Um, I'm doing the front yards first, and I wasn't really sure what to do with the front yards. I knew I wanted them to look kind of different, so I just decided to put a bunch of planter pots in the green one, because, you know, it's green. Why wouldn't a gardener sim live there, right? And then, um, the interior, I did try to keep the colors of the exterior of the house like the greenhouse i wanted everything to be green the pink one i wanted everything to be pink the blue one i wanted everything to be blue and of course they all had to be pastel colors but that didn't exactly work out because um some of the items don't really have those color options like in the greenhouse the kitchen i couldn't find any pastel green um cabinetry so i ended up having to use green and blue in the first house and then in the pink house i used pink and purple and then for the blue one i mostly used blue and purple um, i might have used some green objects i don't really know and uh yeah no i didn't use what am i trying to say okay in the first one i used uh, mostly green and yellow i think and then i added some blue because there was no uh, pastel yellow or green cabinets and I didn't want to just use white because it kind of felt like that was a cop-out so I used blue cabinets and yeah and then each of the houses downstairs they have a bathroom kitchen dining room a living room and a did I say bathroom I think I did but they also have a laundry room because I haven't really used the laundry stuff yet so I wanted to add a laundry room to these houses and I don't know, I just really like the way they turned out. I think they're really cute and adorable. And then I, I really love the little playhouse in the backyard. I think I've only built a playhouse once in one of my houses. And then um, in one I built like a little dog house thing that's basically a playhouse. But only dogs can go in it because it only had a doggy door. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. And I just like building playhouses in general. So, uh, yeah. I, I knew I wanted to build one whenever I started building this house. And I just gave it the same exterior as the house itself. Because that's usually what I do whenever I build playhouses for a house. Like, with the house already built on the lot. And, yeah. I just put little pathways to it. And then I wasn't really sure what to do with the yard. So, that's how I came up with the idea to just give them some pets. So, I put like a little a little puppy play area in this one and then in the pink one I don't know I do this weird thing making some weird little trees that kind of look like they came from the Lorax but um, I don't know they just looked really cool I used like the little branch um, scratching post thing and some bushes I think I used bushes I don't know but they just look really cool I think I do it next and I don't know I just thought they looked pretty cool and uh, yeah there'll be screenshots at the end of the video so you can see them a little bit better and um yeah i only have screenshots at the end of the video of the exterior of the build and the greenhouse and then in the next one which will be going up tomorrow um i do like to build um post my two-part speed builds like consecutively because i don't know it just makes sense to me so uh tomorrow the second part will be going up and it will be the pink house and the blue house and that's what i'll be building but uh yeah now we're moving on to the pink yard and I just put a bunch of little flowers everywhere and I don't know, I just they cute. And here's where I'm um, thinking it'd be cool to make some like tiny little trees that the cats could scratch their little nails on. And at first I was going to use that but I do change it because I found this and it was really pretty in pink. 
anyway, uh, yeah. They, they kind of look like little cake pops, but I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. And then over here, I am building a greenhouse. And I wasn't really sure what to put in the greenhouse, honestly. So I just put some planter pots and that is all. And then towards the end of the build, um, you can pretty much tell I was just getting frustrated with it. Well, I don't know if you could tell I was getting frustrated with it, but I was. And I just... The greenhouse, um, not this part, but the entire greenhouse is a lot more decorated than the other two houses um and then the pink one's a little more decorated than the blue house because with the green one i felt like this sim would kind of be a clutter clutter collector yes eclectic sim and so um yeah i do clutter up the living area a little bit especially the kitchen i noticed whenever i was taking screenshots but then whenever i get to the blue house um um, it was like the third day that I was working on this build and I was just kind of done with it. And, uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, I didn't decorate it quite as much. I didn't add, as, add too many details. The kids' room has, uh, quite a few details, obviously, because I just like doing kids' rooms. But the kitchen, I did forget to actually add some wall decor to the kitchen. So, it just looks kind of empty in my opinion. But, you know, you guys can feel free to add some things to the blue house if you would like but this house is on my gallery if you guys would like to download it it is called esther townhomes and i don't know it just reminded me of easter so i didn't want to call it easter townhomes because uh, why would i so i just called it esther townhomes and the price of the lot is 271,301 simoleons and it is on a 40 by 30 lot i built it in newcrest on the 40 by 30 lot in the um the top neighborhood which is where I built all the crappy houses in my build new crest series which by the way is finished so um, yeah you guys can expect a tour of that town pretty soon along with um, build forgotten hollow because I also finished that one so that'll be great and then I will be able to start on the next town which I already have planned and uh, yeah I just need to figure out what I'm gonna be doing with it but that does not matter in this speed build <laughs> so uh, yeah I like to light up my houses before I start them. And then I was gonna go in and do the balconies first. I I don't I don't know if I did the balconies first. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh yeah, I can't remember what I was doing. But um yeah, for the bedrooms I wanted there to be carpet. I do change the flooring in I want to say either the pink or the blue house. I change it to the wood floor because I don't know the carpet just looked kind of weird to me and I added some rugs and stuff under the bed and it just looked kind of weird with the carpet so I do change it to floor the the wood floor I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm sorry I'm just I just woke up so my brain's kind of everywhere at the moment uh but yeah and then I'm just placing in doors so that why I see that's why it seems like I'm just going between each of the houses because right now I'm just doing the um, floors and the doors and that rhymed and the wall colors and everything so uh, yeah that's why it seems like I'm just jumping between each of the houses I don't do that I do just decorate one house at a time and I'm sorry if you guys can hear footsteps but um, yeah I apologize for that and then here is the little laundry room and like I said all of the houses do have the same layout um, in the downstairs area I think one of them might be reversed um, I think the blue and green one are reversed but, um, yeah, the pink one, I believe, has the same layout as the green one, if I'm not mistaken. Either the green or blue one, I don't know. But the pink one has the same layout as one of the ones. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I found a lot of cute pastel, um, chairs and stuff for, like, if it was, like, maybe a country type build or something. Or, like, a little cottage or something. But, uh, yeah, they just didn't go with, with, what am I trying to say? They just didn't go with what I was trying to build here uh, because I wanted it to kind of be modern looking so I do end up changing those to modern type um, things so yeah and then uh, yeah now we're just working on the kitchen and the dining room and I really like using the pastel colored appliances I thought they were really cute and I don't really get to use them that much because I usually just use either the stainless steel or the white options for those but, uh, yeah, I just thought they were really cute. I do wish that the TVs had more variety of colors because I ended up just having to use white. And, you know, it's kind of 
frustrating because I just wanted everything to be pastel, but some things I did have to just choose a white option for because I guess white kind of goes with the pastel theme, um, at least better than gray or black, but uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. But it is what it is, and I tried, so at least I get credit for that, right? And then, I'm sorry, I just, I just woke up, my throat's kind of weird, so I keep pausing. But anyway, I did put this little divider, and I do put a divider in all of them to separate the living room and the kitchen, because I didn't want to build a wall there, because I kind of wanted it to be like an open floor plan where you could just walk into the living room and see straight through to the kitchen, well, the dining room. And, um, yeah, I just thought it looked really cute and adorable, and so I did decided to use a divider in all of the houses. But I do use a different divider for each of the houses. And then, uh, yeah, here I'm just trying to figure out, um, which cabinets I used below. Um, I know I didn't use those. I was gonna change them because I found some green ones, but I just didn't like the way they looked. They weren't modern enough for my liking. So, uh, yeah, I decided not to go with those. And then, uh, I, I found the right cabinet, so that was good. And then I do go in and change the, what am I saying? Lights. I remember to change the lights. Usually in The Sims 3, I always forget to change the lights, especially in my Twin Brook Architect series. But, uh, yeah, whenever I'm doing speed builds, I typically remember to change the lights. So that's always good. And I kind of used like little fancy looking lights. I don't know. I just felt like, um... I just felt like the Sims living in these townhomes would be kind of, I don't know, like modern and elegant, maybe, I don't know. It's just what I had in my mind while I was building it. And so, yeah. Um, I, I really like the way the house turned out, these houses. But, uh, yeah, now we're just working on the laundry room, so that's good. And, uh, you know, a laundry room's a laundry room. It's got a sink, so a washer and dryer. I put the stacked ones just because they took up less space and I could do more with the room. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, the laundry rooms just have, like, a little shelf thing. I don't think I placed anything on the shelf because I was, I was being lazy, honestly. But, um, yeah, it's just got the washer dryer, a sink, and a hamper, and then some decorative objects on the walls and stuff. And then, whenever I was figuring out what to put on the walls in the kitchen, I did find this really awesome, like, little decorative item for the wall, those things, and they're, like, kind of an iridescent look to them. And, I don't know, they just look really pretty, and I do use them a lot. Uh, I don't think I, um, actually, I, yeah. What am I trying to say? I might have used one in the pink house. I don't remember. But I know I used them in the green house and the blue house, and I just thought they were really pretty. And, yeah. So, I guess the wall decoration is kind of what makes the kitchen in the greenhouse look more cluttered than what it actually is. Because, um, I know the laundry, not the laundry room, but the, um, dining area doesn't look as cluttered. Um, I mean, there's a lot of plants and everything, but other than that, it doesn't really look too cluttered. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Now I'm just trying to figure out a layout for the living room. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. I couldn't really fit too much in here because it's pretty small space and it's just like meant to be like a hallway to go back to the rest of it with, you know, a living space in it because I didn't have anywhere else to put one. But, um, yeah, so I just ended up using two chairs and a couch because I couldn't put a love seat, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it works out in the end. I think it looks pretty cool. And then... I kept having to turn off my filter colors whenever I was looking for a TV, which was really annoying because for some reason the TVs don't show up whenever you click on the white color option. And it's just really annoying, even though there's a white, gray, and a black version of most of the TVs, it just doesn't show up except for, I think, one TV. One or two TVs show up and that's, no, like, it might be three and it's just a really big one and a really small one and the pink one TV and I didn't want to use any of those. So, it was unfortunate. And then over here, I was going to put this little pet thing, but I just wanted this family to have like a little cat. And so I decided to stick a fish tank in there because if you have a cat, why not get a fish tank, right? But, <laughs> uh, yeah. I just decided to stick a fish tank. And then, um, yeah, I think the other two houses do have, um, the hedgehog or whatever. Uh, I don't remember which one I put in them. But I just picked a tank that matched the color scheme of the house. So, uh, yeah. But 
anyway, now I'm just going in and adding some curtains. Um, yeah, I wasn't really sure what to do with curtains because there weren't really very many options to use, honestly. And whenever I have larger windows, I always have a hard time finding curtains that go with them. And it's kind of annoying, honestly. But uh, yeah, I ended up finding those weird looking curtains because they were the only pastel green curtains I could find. And then I think I used different curtains for the pink and the blue houses. Thank Jesus, because they were just awful. I hate these curtains. I just don't like them. But they were the only ones that would go with this house and fit the windows um, that I could find. And I didn't want to use a different color because it, I wanted this house to be mostly green. But I do go in and change some of the wallpapers because I just didn't like that all of the wallpaper was the, the exact same. There was no breakups. There was no um, accent walls or anything. So I do go in and add like the white um, wallpaper that I added to the exterior of the house and then I also add in some different shades of the pastel greens to the wall and I think in the other two I mostly just use the same pink and blue as the exterior. I think in the pink one I might add a few purple walls here and there but then I forgot to do that with the blue one until the very end whenever I go in and add the white accents so uh yeah that was unfortunate but you know by that point i was just already done with this build I, I liked the build i just i'd been working on it for three days and i just didn't want to look at it anymore so i just wanted to be done with it and uh yeah the blue house isn't as detailed as the other two houses which is unfortunate it does look pretty cool but um yeah i could have done more with it if i had um, just gave myself the time to work on it more, but I didn't do that because I was just ready to be done with it. And then, uh, yeah, so this is the master bedroom, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the master bedroom. I don't really have much to say about it. It's just the master bedroom, and I think, um, I don't think I've done the hallway or anything yet, the landing area. I don't remember what I do with the landing area in this one. Do I? Yes, I do. Wait. Yeah, the landing area for this one, I put like a little desk area next to the balcony and then I put a seating area like right as you're coming up and then of course decorate the little hallway going to the desk area and then over here next to the, whoa, I'm sorry, I just got tangled in my microphone cord, but um, over next to the, what am I talking about? The master bedroom area, there's like a little nook over there and I've just put another divider up there and make it like a little cat area because these people have cats and I forgot that yeah this one is the one that has two cats and then yeah I think the pink one only has one cat maybe yeah this one has two cats so I put two little cat towers and stuff in there little scratchy things so that your kitty kitties could play and then yeah I call it a day <laughs> but um yeah bathroom they're always fun to decorate right i never know what to do with bathrooms honestly i need to look up more inspiration for bathrooms because i never know what to do in them and i don't know i just i just hate building bathrooms and i hate talking about bathrooms <laughs> they're just you know they're bathrooms whatever and then uh yeah i was trying to figure out where to put the second one and then i decided to just stick them over there in the corner because you know maybe the kitties like to play with each other and be happy so that's what i decided to do and then i just set a little um seating area over here that way you know the owner of this house could just sit there and watch the cats play and read a book because i do stick a little bookshelf up there so yeah um i guess i built um this one and the pink house kind of with like um, crazy cat ladies in mind um, maybe not so crazy the pink one might be a little crazy I don't know but um, yeah I don't know those little tree bush things they're kind of weird but uh, yeah and then in the blue house I believe I decorated it for someone who has a dog like a family who has a dog so uh, yeah I guess there's a little bit of variety to my builds right <laughs> and no but um, yeah, I guess we're about done. The screenshots will be coming up, but I did only include screenshots for the exterior and the greenhouse in this one, which I said before. And so, yeah, if you want to see the rest of them, then check out tomorrow's video. I'll have all the screenshots, including all of these screenshots as well. There were so many screenshots because I, I basically built three houses on one lot. So there are a lot of screenshots. And then um, a full layout, layout 
um, screenshot is also in the next video. Um, I didn't add it to this video, I just added it to the next one. So, if you guys would like to see full layout, then be sure to check out the second part to this video. And be sure to check out Zim and channel and her video for this ch um, challenge in the comments. Not comments, in the description. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, she has a really awesome channel, she does awesome speed builds, she's uh, a really great builder. And she also does let's plays and everything so uh yeah be sure to check out her channel but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment or subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video bye